yesterday on History Bound, we had Simon Webb tell us that Barbara Lerner is ask who is Barbara Lerner Spectre and why is she thought by some to be so important. He came out with the following comments, which I'm going to read. And then in the year of the Six Day War, they made a liar. That is to say, they immigrated to Israel and went to live in Ashkelon after spending 30 years teaching, studying and teaching at universities in Israel. Very true, Simon, for a given value of truth. But we'll return to that. And he came to, towards this conclusion as his presentation moved in. That is Barbara Lerner Spectre in a nutshell. She has zero power, no influence, and hardly anybody has even heard of her. We'll be getting back to that one in a minute, Simon. This is the Schechter Institute of Jewish Studies, which Barbara Lerner was instrumental in founding in 1984. Does this really look like an institute that has minimal influence or doesn't produce a large body of people who are highly educated who will then go on to have influence. Let's read a description of the Institute. About the Institute, Schechter's Graduate School remains the only academic institution in Israel devoted primarily to the teaching of Jewish studies. Through its multiple tracks, the Graduate School provides cutting-edge educational opportunities for professionals who seek meaning in their Jewish identity through interdisciplinary study. Someone's going to go on about intersectionality if you wait long enough for that sort of stuff. And are looking for the highest academic standard. So together, the school students and graduates from a network of highly motivated individuals throughout Israel, they are agents of change influencing Israeli society as it forges a new increasingly diverse, multicultural and pluralistic identity. Was Simon aware of the institution's existence? If he was and didn't mention it then it seems odd. If he wasn't, he should have done his research. Either way, it seems rather sloppy, to say the least. Here's Barbara Spector receiving the King's Medal in Sweden. I don't think they hand these out like sort of packs of cheap uh, Cadbury's chocolates or something, Simon. They're not three quid sweeties that bought down the offie. Barbara Spector, the founding director of Paydia, the European Institute for Jewish Studies in Sweden was recently awarded the King's Medal by King Gustav XVI. Spectre received a medal at the Royal Palace. It then goes on to tell you this. To date, the Institute has achieved international recognition for empowering 700 Europeans in 40 countries. Teachers and lawyers, artists and journalists. In notes, a third of those have PhDs. Does Simon have any idea how much work people have to put into getting a PhD and how many odd connections they're going to form with people in all sorts of backgrounds? It would seem that Simon didn't do the research on this one, yet this morning Simon is banging on about <sighs> plaques being removed on Beachy Head. I would suggest, Simon, that next time you go on about that, you do your own research first, because it doesn't look good to say the least. And here we have the institute that Barbara's connected with. And it tells you about it. Founded in 2000 and through grants from the Swedish government and the Marianne and Marcus Wallenberg Foundation. Now I advise people to look up Marcus Wallenberg. He's a major figure in history as an academic and implied institute of excellence with the mandate to nurture the renewal of the European Jewish culture to support cross-cultural dialogue and to promote a positive paradigm of minority culture within European societies. Personally, I don't find anything Barbara Spector has to say all that hugely controversial. She has indeed become a folk devil. I'd agree with Simon on that. She's become a hate figure for many people. However, if you're going to mention someone and say they aren't influential, and then with five minutes work for research, someone can go out and find these facts. It doesn't look good, especially when you're going to present yourself as a historian. And especially when the next morning you're going to start on about the removal of plaques. I'll leave it with you from there, Simon.